Hey, welcome to news. So medicine has made some interesting headlines in the news section this week. A group of researchers working into the genetics of rare disorders has received a $2.3 million grant and associate professor Zach Walsh is looking into the benefits of medical marijuana for treating post-traumatic stress disorder. According to Walsh, marijuana can treat the anxiety and fear felt by PTSD patients. If a study goes through, it'll go into clinical trial. In other news, this Thursday was Transgender Day of Awareness. To learn a bit more about what this day means, we talked to some people from SASC. The Trans Day of Remembrance is an opportunity uh, for people to reflect on the violence that trans individuals still face, um, and to remember and um, name, specifically name, um, the individuals that have been murdered. In commemoration, a candlelight vigil and memorial event were held. This week, we ran a feature highlighting the different religious communities on campus. So whether students are looking for like-minded people or a little bit of home, there's a space out there for them. The I Am A Student movement hosted their Carnival Against the Hikes on Thursday. The organizers encouraged people to sign their petition, which at the time of this filming had over a thousand signatures. Multiple bands played the event, including Lady Jams, Purple Heart Social Club, and Filthy Liars. It's supposed to be just a really fun event, a chill event with music, with a bunch of cool activities um, to get people more involved in the movement and just really have a nice hangout time. The movement collaborated with CITR and FilmSoft to host the event. Sports time. We talked to UBC President Arvind Gupta about the future of UBC athletics. Didn't really say a lot, but we got some insight onto what he thinks sports will look like in the future at UBC. Also, the men's rugby team took over first place in their league with a 37-18 win over the Ravens. Now, follow us to the Quidditch pitch as we follow our copy editor, Kieran, as he does his very best on a Nimbus 2000. So I'm here for my first week of trying out uh, clubs at UBC. I've got my broom and my cleats, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think I have a natural advantage because I'm obviously from England. They're pretty shit at Quidditch and I'm feeling pretty natural so far. Done? Easy. Hey, defense, let's go! Shit. That wasn't good. So difficult. What is, it, what is it called when you score a, a goal? It, it's a, a goal. Uh, <laughs> walk it up, walk it up. Oh. <laughs> He's got a smaller broomstick than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a whole lot going on this week in opinions, but we do have a letter weighing in on why the media portrayal of Vantage College is pretty unfair. In our last words, our editors discussed the recent Vancouver election and what it means for the building of a future Broadway line. You should check it out. 